Hey guys, in this lesson, we're gonna show you the next step in your affiliate journey, which is building your first landing page. I'm gonna show you what a landing page is, why it's important, where your affiliate links go on your page, and how to build your very first one. So if you have Accelerator, which is ClickBank's very own landing page builder, you can follow along with me step-by-step, step, but honestly, any other landing page builder will do because you can follow along, the basics are the same. So what exactly is a landing page? A landing page is where a customer is sent after they click on your ad or the content that you've created. It's basically just a standalone single web page that guides a customer to a specific desired action. These actions can be simple things like watching a video, reading the rest of an article, entering an email address, or simply clicking a link. So let's take a look at the most basic form of this. This graphic shows a very simple affiliate funnel and all of the things that you'll be creating inside of it. On the left, you can see you'll be creating either an advertisement or a piece of content that gets the customer interested in wanting to learn more about the product you're promoting. Once they've clicked on the ad or link in your content on the left, it will take them to your landing page right here. Again, this page can be very simple and the whole goal of it is to get them to click and learn more about the product. Your affiliate link will go in the call to action button you see right at the bottom here, and the link will take them to the product sales page where the customer can then purchase the product and boom, you just earned a commission. So the cool thing to note here is the only two things that you need to create, as you can see in this graphic, is your content and your landing page. The sellers handle the rest. Landing pages are used by almost every single successful affiliate and their primary goal is either to get the customer curious about the product you're promoting or to get the customer warmed up to see the product. You do not have to sell the product here. This is a major mistake we see a ton of new affiliates make. You just need to get the customer curious about the pain points the product solves. Because remember, the product sales page does a great job at selling the product. You just need to get them interested in what the product solves. Think about it like this. Let's say your friend wants to get in shape and you know the perfect gym. So instead of showing them a list of equipment, all the trainers that they have, their hours, the price of the gym, you would simply say, hey, I know of a great gym that'll get you in shape in less than eight weeks and help you with losing weight and building muscle. Then you'd simply direct them to the gym and once they're there, you can let the gym do what they do best. Sell people on why they're so great at getting people in shape. All you have to do is convince them that this gym is the best gym. And in this example, it's exactly what your landing page does. It invokes curiosity of the product or tells a story that helps relate to the pain points a customer is going through. And then the sales page does the rest. That's what makes these pages so simple and so great. Now, landing pages are very different from your typical web page because they don't allow customers to navigate to other portions of the site. For example, let's use clickbank.com. You can see you usually have menu items, headers, footers, all kinds of ways people can click and explore all over the site and navigate where they want. With a landing page, you wanna take all of that away and focus on one single action. So here's an example of a simple affiliate landing page for a dog food product. Notice in this example how the only clickable links are to either click play on the video player or click the watch now button. There are no menu items, footers, or any other navigation. This page is designed for one thing and one thing only, to get customers to watch a video. Make sense? And the video that they watch is on the product sales page. Your landing page should have an extremely narrow focus and doesn't allow the customers to click anywhere else other than where you want them to click. And in this case, it's simply a hyperlink or a button to watch the video on the next page. So these pages are great at increasing your conversion rates and generating sales. So now that you have a basic understanding of what a landing page is, what it looks like, and how it works in your funnel, now let's show you how to actually build one. So the first thing you're gonna need is a landing page builder. Now, there's tons of them out there, but we recommend using ClickBank's very own landing page builder, Accelerator. It's super simple to use. It comes with a ton of pre-built templates, and it's what we'll be using in this lesson, so you can follow along step-by-step. Step. If you wanna use Accelerator to follow along with us in this lesson and build your pages step-by-step, step, click the link in the description below to get access. If you decide to go with another landing page builder, the core principles will still apply. For this example, we're gonna use a top offer in the marketplace called Akira Juice. Now, let's start by logging into Accelerator. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice is an onboarding wizard. Honestly, the coolest part about this entire wizard is that this is our custom funnel generator. So what it's gonna do is actually gonna populate you funnels and recommend you funnels based on your traffic source, the niche you're promoting, and if you're an affiliate or seller. So let's kind of walk through this real quick. So we're gonna select as an affiliate to promote products. Click next. Because Akira Juice is in the health and fitness, we're gonna select this. And for this example, let's just say Facebook ads, okay? So we'll click next. Now we're gonna do just a quick name your workspace. This can be your name, 
or maybe your niche, anything else that you want to test with this. We're going to choose a theme. So this is the color theme that you want your funnels to look like. This is always changeable, but let's go with something nice and blue to start. Now, it spit out our three funnel suggestions. So what I like to use a lot, because I know a key reduce has a VSL that we want to send to, I'm going to select the video pre-sell as my recommended template because quiz funnels, advertorials, they get a little more complex. This is one of the simplest tutorials that we're going to be able to have. So I'm going to click video pre-sell. Click next. Now, this is creating us a full blown template. That's not just some random scratch template. We're actually going to have a lot to work with here. So we're going to go ahead and launch our funnel editor. Now we are in the funnel editor view. So as you can see, we basically, this is as simple as it gets guys. We've got a page with a watch video button. So let's start with the page first. Okay. So as you can see, we are in our landing page editor. So this is about as basic as it gets, but guys, honestly, this is the glory of building affiliate landing pages because they don't need to be complex. They don't need to be beautiful. They just need to get people to watch the video. So you can see we've got a nice solid watch video button right here. And we have a nice thumbnail. I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks to make sure that this looks really good and convinces people to go watch the seller sales page. So we're promoting a key reduce, right? So in the marketplace, you can see right here, we have a key reduce. What I like to do is I like to go to the seller's affiliate page right down here, click this. This helps me get inspiration for copy on what to write on this page, because I know a lot of you probably look at this and say, okay, I don't even know what to say, what to show, what to do with any of this. I'm going to show you a cool trick to show you. This is how I get a lot of copy ideas, right? So you can see there's all kinds of stuff talking about how to promote, but if you scroll all the way down, you should be able to get something called email swipes. Now, email swipes are basically just a list. You know, if you're sending email traffic, it's copy and paste text that is guaranteed to convert. So some of this can work with landing pages. So I'm going to click this link right here. I'm going to show you. They've put together an awesome resource list of literally everything that you could think of hooks, angles, pitches, all kinds of copy that you can actually take little bits and pieces from and then work them into your landing page. So what I'm going to do, uh, the just this very first one, I see this, right? This belly fat Drano juice. So there's There's all kinds of uh, stuff right here. But what I'm going to do, this looks like a great headline, right? So I am simply going to copy this. And then I'm going to go back over to my ClickBank editor. And then I'm going to paste this. And you can see, this kind of shrunk the text down. So you can play around with this for a little bit. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and take the font size up to, let's say 28. Let's see how that looks. Let's maybe make it bold. It's looking better. Let's maybe take it up one more time. We want the headline to be bold and attention grabbing, right? So like right now, this kind of looks like a bunch of plain text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this sentence case. This just helps. And then what I'm going to show you is that there's certain words that you can bold and actually change color to really make this stuff stand out. So I will show you this once I get this done. And guys, sentence case, uh, the reason why I like to use it is it just helps the readability of a headline a little bit more, especially when you're using bold text. It just reads a little bit more like a newspaper headline or something like that. So that's the only reason I'm doing this. Okay, sweet. So that's looking good. We have a headline, right? So I want to make some of these other words stick out. Because again, your headline is going to be the first thing that people see and read when they get to your page. So you want to make sure it's punchy and interesting and curiosity invoking. Remember, we we talked about curiosity, we talked about making people interested in why they should watch this video. So this belly fat Drano, interesting. I, I, it's just something that's like, okay, what, what could that possibly be? I'm going to make this red, make this stand out. Okay. Now, that's looking a little bit better. And then maybe let's do this one right here. Um, toxic fatty acid, for example. That's another interesting statement that I'm sure people are like, I didn't know that existed there. Oops, I highlighted. Text color is what I need. Perfect. Awesome. So pretty simple, right? All I did was change a couple colors, bolded, made it sentence case, but now we have 
a headline that is probably pretty curiosity invoking. I, a, a renegade doctor from Japan has uncovered a natural belly fat draino juice that flushes out this toxic fatty acid from your body. Most people that are interested in this product are going to be like, okay, what doctor is this? What is this juice? What is this fatty acid? I want to learn more, right? So again, I didn't write this copy. I literally took this from their email swipes. This is a great resource again. So what I'm going to do now for these bullet points is simply pluck more from, from this. So as you scroll down this page, right, you can kind of see there's, you can look at the subject lines, but read through this whole thing and you'll be able to pluck some out, guys. So I went ahead and plucked my three favorite from here, but um, for time's sake, I'm just gonna copy and paste them in here. Okay, looks like we need to left justify this. Maybe make the text a little bit bigger. Okay. And that's it. We've got a headline and we have four bullet points that again are making people curious on why they should watch this video. Okay. So now what we need to do is let's work on our imagery. So again, I am just taking from the affiliate tools page resources here, but if you notice, they've included a bunch of images and they're, they're all they are. They're not actually videos guys. These are literally just screenshots of an image with a little play button on it. So all you're trying to do is get people to click this so that they go watch a video. So what we're gonna do, I'm literally going to screenshot this right here, and then I'm gonna come back to my editor, and I'm going to click replace. I'm going to drag and drop this image right here, and boom, we have our image, right? You can size it, you can shrink it down however much you want. Let's keep it nice and big. I kinda like this looking big like this. Okay, awesome. So we now, have a headline, we've got some copy that's again, invoking curiosity, making people curious what this video is. We now have an image that looks like it's playable so that if someone wants to watch the video, they can either click this or they can click our watch video button, right? Because the only thing we're trying to do is send them to the Akira Juice sales page. So now you're probably wondering, where does my hop link go? So I'm gonna show you exactly where. So it's gonna go right here in this button. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go button settings, and basically when they click this button, where do we want people to navigate to? So go, if you go back to the Akira Juice listing on the affiliate page, all right, it's this one. And if you go to their Hoplink generator, it'll actually send you, you can choose where you want it to go, but we're, let's just say for now, we just want to send them to their primary VSL, the one that converts the most. So I'm gonna select this, and then right here under my ID, this is where you're gonna type in your nickname or your affiliate ID, right? Which we, we covered just before this. So I'm gonna type in mine, click agree, generate hoplink and boom, we have our hoplink. So we're gonna copy this. We're gonna go back to the ClickBank editor. We're gonna click paste. And then we're gonna click save. Perfect. Now, if anyone clicks this, it's gonna take them there. And then the last thing, and a very cool thing that we see a lot of affiliates do, guys, and this is a really great tactic to use, is make sure that your image or your play button is clickable as well. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the actual image itself. You'll see a little prompt pop up on the bottom. And then what you wanna do is going to click edit link. And instead of this, delete this out, paste in your hop link, and then click update. Now, we have successfully created our first landing page that is so simple that all it is is a headline, a couple of bold text, some four bullet points that suggest why you should watch this video and giving people two options on why they should either click the call to action button and watch the video or click this image to watch the video. And it'll take you right to the seller sales page. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So let's say someone lands on this page and then they click watch now, right? They are gonna be sent right here. Boom, they are now prompted to watch a video on the Akira Juice sales page. They can click to play, watch the video, or they can go ahead and buy. But let's just make sure that we are being tracked. And sure enough, look at that. This is my encoded affiliate hop link ID, which we covered in the last lesson, but we are good to go. So again, guys, it is this simple. So last thing that you're gonna need to do is just make sure that your pages are active, um, which you can do under page info. You can see this little check mark, page is live. All of this is good to go. And if ever you wanna update your page URL, 
All you have to do is come into page info and then click under SEO, and then you can update this to whatever you want. So you can see my test domain is cbspark.cbaccelerator.com forward slash, I'm in the editor right now, but if you wanted to change this to, I don't know, my affiliate funnel one, this would be the new URL for this. Now I recommend using something that's not gonna be suspicious. I would just say like maybe a key reduce one or a key reduce two, something like that. All you'd have to do is click save. And then guys, your very first landing page is live, has your affiliate links ready to go. And it is as simple as that. So I encourage you click around, browse the templates if you have them. You can also add and change, you know, small little pieces to this. Like if you wanted to add a bold statement up top, you can simply drag and drop for a lot of this stuff, right? And then, you know, if you wanted to use, again, another big, bold headline, you can totally do that. For example, I just found this one again on the Aki Reduce sales page. But again, you can start to play with these pages and see how you can really make them look simple, easy to understand, and easy to get people through. Now, again, if you don't have Accelerator, that's totally okay. Maybe you have another landing page builder. Most of them are built with WYSIWYG editors or basically what's called what you see is what you get. So a lot of these editors are gonna be similar functionality. Um, the tools may look a little bit different, but the concepts that I'm teaching right here apply to every single landing page builder. So again, you just want high converting headline, or when I say high converting, I mean interest peaking headline, a couple bullet points to back it up, and then either an image or a strong call to action just to make sure that people leave your landing page and go to the seller sales page. So might look a little different for everyone, but if you're an accelerator, you can follow along step-by-step. Step. If you're in something else, it's just a little different. Okay, so I know that was a lot, but let's let's recap really quick. First thing you're gonna need to do is make a headline. This is where you should spend a lot of time perusing through the seller's sales page or the affiliate's tools page where you can get hooks, angles, things like this. You need some subcopy or bullets to help reinforce the copy that you just wrote for the headline. You're gonna need some form of imagery or you know maybe it's a video thumbnail, something like this, which again, usually you can find in the affiliate resources page. And then you're gonna need to make sure that your hop link is embedded in any link that you have. So your call to action button, like the big blue button that we saw before, or the media that you're gonna have. Basically anywhere that people are gonna be clicking on your page, you need to have your hop link hyperlinked or embedded inside of a button. And don't forget to always check your hop link and make sure that you test it all the way through to the order form to make sure that you get paid for your efforts. Now, you're gonna learn a lot more on strategies, tips, and tactics, and basically what to include in your landing pages in your traffic courses, which are coming up right after this course. So if you're not ready to start building your pages, you can always come back to this lesson or start building them later in the course when we take a deeper dive into traffic sources. So if you felt overwhelmed, do not stress. Figuring out landing pages is difficult for everyone in the beginning. Building your landing page is gonna take time, testing, tweaking, and honestly guys, it can take anywhere from a couple days to weeks at a time. This is a normal part of every affiliate's journey, and the first one is always the toughest, but you can always refer back to this video along the way or use the step-by-step -step guides in your learner guides linked below. And don't forget to check out our Discord community and ask for help if you need it. There's tons of helpful conversations and threads on Discord and plenty of other affiliates on the same journey, exact same journey that you're on, with helpful tips and tricks. And then once you have your first landing page created, tell us in the Wall of Wins channel, we'd love to hear about it.